In this video of ASP.NET, we will start working with error handling. Basically, error handling is a very important concept in any kind of programming language or application development. As if during the execution that there is anything wrong with the program, then it will be terminated abnormally, which is never a pleasant experience for the client. So, in this video, we will notice like if in ASP.NET there is anything wrong during the execution of the website, then how to handle the error. If you are already familiar with the C Sharp or .NET framework, which is actually the prerequisite of this particular course, you must know about the try and catch block. This is this can always be implemented whenever you want to work with the exception handling. But apart from that, if you want to handle the error on the application level because if you will work with try and catch you will have to write the particular code in all the pages and in all the methods but if you want you can also handle the errors on the application level and for that we will use the application underscore error method of the global.asx file which we have already seen during the implementation of global.asx chapter but we didn't use that so in this particular video, we will see how to handle the errors on the application level using the application underscore error method. We can also handle the error on the configuration file, but we will do that in our coming videos. So let's see the implementation of error handling in the global.asax. So here we have a page in which there is a connection string which is there in the web.config. I am reading the data and I am putting that in a data set and later I have set the data set as the data source for the grid view. So currently there is no exception or error in this particular page. When I will execute it, it will show me the data in the grid view. But for let's say I have changed the name of this connection string and here when I will execute this it will show me the null reference exception. Let's press F5 and in the browser a user will see this particular page. So either I can handle this in a traditional way of using a try cache block at the page level or I can do that and I can go for the application level. But on the page level I can also perform the exception handling or error handling rather in a different way. For that what I'll do I'll create an another method with the name page underscore error which is this is one of the event of page lifecycle of ASP.NET where this error method is executed whenever an unhandled error is raised. So what it will do as soon as the error will be raised this will be coming in means the control will come inside this particular function and inside this I have redirected to the error.html where I just passed a message some error occurred. So let's execute it now and see how this particular thing is going on. So again the same error got occurred. Let's press F5 and now in the browser I'll get this some error occurred. So basically this is how you can also handle the page level exceptions means when you want to handle the exception of a complete page rather than putting the try catch block in all the methods of a page you can put this error handler. Apart from this, you, if you want to see what exactly error occurred, so for that I will use this exception object and here I will say server dot get last error. So if you will check the exception, you will get which particular type of exception it occurred and like exception handling if you want to put multiple cache blocks, uh, here you, you can also do that like if ex is any particular kind of exception like null reference exception or something. Alright, so accordingly you can perform the different tasks as per the different exception types. Apart from that, you can also clear the exception with the method called server.clearError. Alright, so now when it will be done, finally it will redirect you to the error.html. But there is one more issue like a user will never make a request for the error page. It will be the result from the server side in case if there is any error occurring. So rather than using response.write right here, I will use another method for redirecting and that will be server.transfer. 
because here a client is not making a request so that a server will respond rather internally the server will transfer you to the error.html in case any occur error will occur so let's execute it again and here let's press f5 and here you can see I got the same message of error.html but the URL of this particular page is still the same because we haven't made a request so the URL in this particular case will not be changed. This page is a result of the previous request only. Now if I want to do the similar thing for all the pages there is one option like I have to create this page underscore error method for all the pages or I can come to the global.asa file where I have a method called application underscore error. So what I'll do here, I'll just uh, cut this particular code from this and we'll paste it here. In case any exception is unhandled and we are not getting any error handler on a page level, then the control will directly come to the global.asax in the application error. So here I have put the same code. So let's execute it again. And here as soon as the exception will occur, the control will come to the global.asx and in that we have a handler called application underscore error and due to that I will get this particular page as a result. So this is how you can start working with the error handling in ASP.NET.